Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Welcome to another fabulous Friday. Today we're going to take a final look at my product of the week, which is the Trick or Tweet stamp set. These cute little babies on there. These are just perfect for, for kids and of all ages actually. But we're going to make this adorable little candy bar holder and it's perfect to give to your co-workers or your kids teachers and it doesn't take any time at all to create it fits a full-size candy bar and you're only going to use a quarter sheet of designer series paper so these are my supplies I've got a six by six piece of designer series paper and I've scored at a half inch on what will be the bottom of the paper and then I've got a piece of that black foil. It's cut at two by three. And a piece of Whisper White cut at one and three quarters by two and three quarters. We're gonna do some stamping. We'll do that first. And since I'm going to be coloring, I want to make sure my work surface is protected. We're gonna use the Memento ink stamp our sweet little um, envelope <laughs> elephant right here there she's so cute we're gonna paint her toenails too and then we're going to stamp the sentiment now this could fit here but it's going to be tight so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to um, mask our some of our words we're going to mask the for you using just a piece of scotch tape and we'll ink it up. Oops, my scotch tape is falling off. Okay, now we'll come over here and we'll ink up the baddie. Take the scotch tape off. And then we'll clean that off. And then, whoops, we're gonna stick that back on there. And then we're going to mask the baddie and ink the for you. You know, you'll go through and do this to make your original scotch tape sticks every time, but you go to film and it's gonna be a problem. So, here we go. Take that off, make sure it's all clean. I'm gonna come in and stamp the for you right there. Isn't that cute? I know some people cut their stamps to make a smaller sentiment, but I, I, I have a hard time with that. It's probably my OCD. All right, so now we're gonna color our cute little elephant, and I'm using the Smoky Slate combo, the Highland Heather combo, and I'm using the new Basic Black. This is the light one, and that's for her wings. I'm just come in and color her wings. toenails. We're going to use the dark Highland Heather for that. Everybody wants their toenails painted pretty for Halloween, right? And then I'm going to use the light for her mask. And she's so cute. Okay, that's all the coloring. We will attach this to the piece of black foil now to create the treat holder you're gonna fold on the score line and you want to use a fairly strong adhesive I am using fast fuse that showed up on our clearance rack for a little while I think there's still some of the refills left if you liked using fast fuse like I did, you'll want to stock up now because they're almost gone. So you're just going to come through 
and glue this right to the edge. Of course, it's going to fight me on camera. Uh, it needs a little, a little bit right there. And then just fold this down on the edge. Close enough. Now, we're going to just staple the bottom so that the candy bar won't fall out. And you just want to put a couple little staples right along the edge. Okay. Slide that candy bar in there. We'll do it this, this way. There we go. And we're going to take a piece of that glitter ribbon. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. That ribbon's so cute. Anything with bling. Okay, I'm gonna take some oops, of this adhesive and I'm just gonna add some to the side to tuck underneath the ribbon. Just like so. And then of course, we gotta have a bat on there to go with the bat paper and the bat saying and the bat image. And we're going to use our little bat. You can save the the others for another project. I like this little guy right here. We're going to use a mini glue dot to attach him. Just like so. Stick him on the corner. And we've got a cute little treat. Isn't that adorable? I know I use that word a lot, but it's so cute. And I just love her little toenails. For more information on this, head to scrapspicesissy.com. I'll have all the measurements for you. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Bye.